Hey, what's up, guys? This is Uphill Will, and I am Will. I am finally getting a chance to do away with the traditional pump, and I'm going to turn this Rayobi pump that I got off of Amazon. I will drop a link in the comments below. And if you don't mind, if this, if this is something that you think would be good for you or you'd like to try it out, Click on that link because it does help out my channel. I finally became an affiliate of Amazon. I've been waiting for that for a long time, so I'm happy and excited to finally give you something that I bought off of Amazon that I think you could use. If you want to see how I can turn this into a Presta valve, keep watching until the end. And then click on that link and buy one for yourself, and then I will get credit for it, and you'll have the best bike pump ever. Anyway, I'm sick of using that thing. Let's just get right into it. I'm going to turn this into Presta valve. All right, I've only got one shot at it. And like I said, I think I said drop in the, it'll, it'll be in the comments below. Actually, it's going to be in the description and I'll try to drop a link in the comments. This is my first time with the Amazon affiliate thing, so it's gonna take me a minute to get used to it. But here we are, I'm gonna start with this. We are going to cut this off. I have a knife here. This is what I used to use for tinting windows and I'm gonna cut this off. I got one take at it. Here we go. There is no turning back now. That is removed and we just have the rubber hose. So here's the secret sauce, the little piece that I got off of Amazon. Again, I will drop in the uh, description this part number as well. All right, so I got this hose clamp here. This is something I already had in my garage. I didn't buy a new one, but I already had a small one. So a small hose clamp, Ugh. dirty minds, dirty minds people. So we're gonna put the hose clamp on the hose, and that's right. Um, I don't like this, I wanna fix that little bit. Okay, so bear with me as, as I do this. So before I put this hose clamp on, I'm gonna use this, it's called Tessa tape. I used to use this in the electronics industry. It is like um, electrical tape, but it's not sticky like a electrical tape. Um, it's soft, more like uh, you could use this as like a wrap for your drop bars. We're gonna tape this part together because this is already fraying itself away and I want this to be a clean looking setup. So we're gonna put this Tessa tape, not Tesla, it's Tessa. And the Tessa tape is on the end there. So now we're going to put the hose clamp on. Tighten this up. All right, so the hose clamp is on, and now for the Presta thing that I bought. Here you do this. And like I said, I didn't, this, there's been no testing before I made this video. So this is like literally, you're watching this live as I do it. There was not a format. There's just like, we're just going for it. And I'm actually glad that this is a little tighter than um, what I thought it was going to be because I was worried that this was going to fit in there too easily, and then we're just gonna get all kinds of air leaks. And that is not the case, so I'm gonna force it in there. That, I like that much better. So now, now that I've got it forced in there, this actually is like has a threads on it, so I am turning it as I push down, which I know it's a rubber hose, so it's like not necessarily making it like you're putting a bolt in. But it definitely helps. So now that is threaded down. Now we can put this clamp all the way up and tighten it down. And I'm so I'm so glad that this fit <laughs> because again, I've been waiting to make this video. I really was waiting until I got my Amazon affiliate link. Um, I've been diversifying, come up with different ways to help support this channel, and that is one that I've been excited to do. It just took some time. Now that I got the Amazon affiliate link, there's gonna be all kinds of little things that I, that I post on there for you guys so you can see like how I do things, including this whole camera setup that you cannot see, but I have invested a lot of time and energy into this, and you, I'm filming on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and I have a full professional camera setup that I'm gonna be showing you soon. And you, and I'm, again, you can get all the stuff that's on this thing right off of Amazon, everything except for the phone. All right, so here we go. That is on. And, and oh, that is sick. So it's probably loud to you guys, but I'll show you in the, when you push it. 
That is the reason that I picked this drill. There were lots of other drills that I had an option to do. This is not the only air drill, but this is the one that had the, the dial on it. We use these at the shop, so that's where I got the idea from. And actually I saw that Harry over at Ibis had one in the Ibis van, so that's kind of where I started with the idea. So I kind of took it from uh, Sean at the bike shop and also Harry at Ibis. And so I now need to pump up the tires in my Ritmo, so let's do that. All right, we're just gonna bring you right along. This is the part that you guys already know how to do, or if you're like me, if you are new to mountain biking, this is a video you wanna watch. I did not know how to work a Presta valve when I first got into mountain biking. I didn't know that you had to twist this part up. I know that that sounds silly, but I don't want anybody to think that um, any question is too silly. Let's see if we can get it to focus there. All right, so we're now gonna take our pump, which I've got sit on the floor now, just for to show you guys. This part is gonna go just like normal. It's gonna go on there, I'm hoping. And it pushes on there. And we are flat. Let's see how much we have in there, because it'll tell us as soon as we pull. That's what I like about this drill. I pull the trigger. And it had 6 PSI in it, and I'm not going to make you listen to this sound as I pump it up, so we're going to fast forward through this part until we get to my desired PSI. And I kind of over-exaggerate a little bit. There's 27 pounds in there. I'm going to pull this off because this is a little bit hard to do while I'm filming. So anyway, that is this cool Ryobi drill that I will link in the description below for Amazon where you can get this. I actually, believe it or not, I bought two of these. You wanna know why? Because I have been using this drill waiting to make this video to pump up the tires on our cars that keep going low. Uh, we have a business, so we have multiple cars. My wife and I have a business, so we have multiple cars, so that might sound crazy, but we, anyway, we have several cars that we use for our business and sometimes the tires go low. So I've been using this to pump them up. So that made me decide I probably ought to buy a regular one and convert one over to a uh, Presta valve. So that's what I did. Hey, if you like the content of this video, please comment below if you've got any, how do you pump up your tires? I am so tired of that hand pump. It's annoying. I've been The biggest problem is carrying it with me when I go for a ride. This is a little bit more compact. I know it may not seem like it, but that stupid pump is so long that wherever that I keep it at, if I put it in the floorboard, it hangs over to the other side. Anyway, it just takes up more room than I want it to. How do you pump up your tires? You think this is a good idea? I know it's a good idea because I've been using it and so should you. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and comment, do all those things that every YouTuber tells you to do because it does actually help out with their channels. And I greatly appreciate it if you've stuck around until now. Stick around because I got some more things coming up. And until then, pedal on people, pedal on.